So in the last jet boat video, I got all of the pieces tacked together and that left me with a complete hole that needs to be welded. So guess what? Yes, I'm going to be welding in this video. I'm going to get the entire inside welded and everything I can reach from the top on the outside welded in this video. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right into it and start welding. All right, so I've been welding on the boat for a while and I started with the stringers and I've been working my way from the left to the right, front to the back, so that I don't put too much heat into one spot and warp something. And I've also been taking little breaks in between runs because the cable that goes to the spool gun is quite warm and so is the ground clamp. So I think the machine is as hot as I am. I just looked and it's 95 degrees out here and it's just, it's just killing me the heat uh, because I have to have the mask, the gloves, the sleeves, and also I've been wearing this uh, respirator because welding aluminum creates a lot of smoke and you've got your head down here inside the hole and it kind of just wants to stay in this area. And I've also got a fan blowing air from the outside in, which helps push the smoke out the door. But uh, like I said, it's just so hot. Uh, I think I'm gonna call it a day and just start again in the morning when it's cooler. All right, so I've been welding on this for a couple of days and it's been real tedious, but don't get me wrong, I've been enjoying every bit of this. Um, the problem is I don't have a whole lot of footage because it's really cramped working inside the boat, especially up here underneath the bow. There's just no way to get a camera and myself and the welder up under there and make those welds. Even working in here, it gets kind of cramped because I can't get the tripod in here. So I apologize. I just don't have a whole lot of footage of me welding uh, this part of the boat. And plus watching me weld over and over again gets pretty boring after a while. But as you can see here, I've been real busy working. I can work about two hours out here each day before the heat takes its toll. And I've pretty much got the whole bottom welded all the way up here to the nose. You can see a little bit of daylight poking through right there. That's because I haven't welded the nose yet. But if you come back down through here, I've got a little place right here I need to work on. But for the most part, the whole front of the boat, the bottom is welded. And I've started working my way up the bulkhead here, as you can see and also the stringers, they're fully welded. And I just realized that I have made my first mistake. So let me go over here and I'll show you what that is. And what I did was I welded these back pieces on, this little triangle piece. I welded it on too soon and I have covered up a place where I need to weld the side to the back. There's a seam that runs all the way down to the bottom and that needs to be welded and this piece is covering it up. So it's an easy fix. All I need to do is cut those tack welds and take those pieces off, and then I can get to that weld that I need to make.
All right, so it's the end of another busy welding day, and man, am I, I'm tired, I'm wiped out. Uh, let me show you what I've done. I got the front and back of the transom welded to the sides, the same over here. I got the bulkhead front and back welded to the sides. I've got the stringers all welded in. The entire bottom is welded in in the engine bay. The entire bottom is welded in in the front. So next thing to work on is these sides. I need to weld this in and then I need to weld the top on. And of course, I've got to complete the nose. Okay, so all of you longtime viewers know that I like to show all of the screw ups and things that go wrong, learning curves, whatever you want to call them. I like to show those on my channel because not everything goes perfect like you see on a lot of YouTube videos. So I have worked my way up here to the side comb. I believe that's what this piece is called here. It's this little four inch strip that runs all the way up to the nose of the boat. And I'm having a problem with the welder burning through this. So I found that if I start on the backside and weld that, it works a little bit better. And then it's also easier to fix any holes or anywhere where the welder blows through this aluminum. And I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see, this is what it looks like right here. And this is where there was a tack weld. This is what it looks like right here when I do a single pass on the back side of right here on that joint. And then after it cools down, I did a little experiment and I put a bead on the outside, which is over here, starting here. And then I ground it down and you can't even tell that there was any holes or blow through. And this is ground down smooth. This is how it's gonna be all the way around to the front. And I was just doing an experiment here to find out what's gonna be the best way to do this. And I think start on the back, then go to the front and then grind it down. And that's gonna be the best way, as you can see there. This is just like the bumper. Uh, if you watch the bumper video, it's the same deal. You just grind down the outside weld and then when you're done you're just left with something that looks like one solid piece of aluminum right here. Okay, so after I got that brace cut out, I started welding and welding and welding and welding. I'm done welding, well, kinda. I got everything, I got all of the outsides welded. I got the inside welded all the way up to about the front of the nose of the boat and I just can't reach it uh, laying upside down underneath there. So what I'm gonna do now is I need to flip the boat over upside down so I can weld the bottom. And while I've got it upside down, I'm going to put it on some saw horses and then I can finish welding those hard to get to edges that are up underneath. And remember, I am trying to come up with a name for this boat. Uh, if you've got an idea, I'd love to hear it. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Uh, I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Uh, in the last video, I got a few suggestions. Some of them were good, some of them weren't. So yeah, uh, if you got an idea for the name of the boat, let me know down in the comments. And also I wanna point out, if you're thinking about doing one of these for yourself, if you're thinking about building a jet boat, make sure you got plenty of help because this is not a one person job. Like right now I am waiting on getting three people over here to help me flip this thing over so I can finish welding the bottom, so I can finish welding up under the nose of the boat and also getting this UHMW plastic 
mounted right here against the toolboxes. I gotta get that mounted on there while the boat's upside down, but right now I'm just waiting on helpers to show up to help me finish this job. And I'm starting to get a little bit excited because this thing is starting to look and feel like a little mini jet boat and not a pile of parts laying on my shop floor. So I hope you continue to join me on my jet boat adventure. If you like the video, please be sure and give me that big thumbs up. And if you aren't a subscriber, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you don't miss any more upcoming jet boat videos. And thanks for watching.